Welcome to season one, episode eight of the Trivia 10. We have Alex Coleman, Mr. Dark of the movie himself on for today's episode. How you feeling? You prepared? You ready? My heart's palpitating, but um, it's a, it's a good it's a good bit of fear. We're ready. We're locked in. Well, it should be a fun trivia for you today. And of course, all your links to your, your TikTok, Instagram, Letterboxd, all that kind of good stuff is going to be linked in the description down below. Make sure you go check them out. Definitely one of the goats in the movie sphere. But of course, every Tuesday, we're uploading episodes of the Trivia 10. We're having 10 episodes per season, as we've been announcing lately, and four people are going to be making the playoffs. So this is episode eight. We only have a couple episodes to go left in the season to try and find that final four to head to the playoffs. Looking at the leaderboard as it sits right now, we see that the three under the cut line are Cam Walsh, Sophie Holsinger, and Kevin Movie Man Man Man. With 70 points, 85 points, respectively. K Meeks, Owen, Seth's film reviews, and Doug Holler still remain in playoff position. We have all three of the members of the Looks Like a Movie podcast in playoff position. Someone's got to be able to shake that up and can't let them continue this dominance. Will that be Alex Coleman? We're going to see you today. I know he's a little bit nervous, but I think he's going to do great. Let's go ahead and dive into question one. We're going to start with five points and on to 10, 15, 20, and 50. We're going to gradually get harder in, in, in theory. First question What is Wolverine's normie job in Logan? Uh, he's a limousine driver. No, correct. He's a chauffeur. Five points on the board. You're already off to a better start than last week. And I believe, like I said last week, I think like six out of the eight contestants so far have gotten a five point question wrong. But there's still one more five pointer, so you still have an opportunity to join those ranks. What is the name of the hotel in The Shining? Oh my lord, no, not the easy, <laughs> not the easy ones. Um, Seth and many other people will not forgive you if you're not. Oh able my to gosh, one. hold on. I have CT. Hold on. Um, Overlook, Overlook Hotel. There it is. Sometimes you just got to think about it. We've seen that time and time again. I'm quitting. I'm quitting. (laughs) We've seen that time and time again on this, this series where people just get stumped immediately when they read the question. Then you just take a breath, think about it a bit, and it comes to you eventually. 10 points. Perfect so far. Heading into question number three. Here's the question you've been waiting for. Who is activated by the Apollo 11 astronauts in Transformers Dark of the Moon? Is it Sentinel? Is it Sentinel Prime? Sentinel Prime is correct. Yeah, okay, we got we got that one right. My yeah. brand is still intact. We're all he, good. He said before we started recording that if if I gave him a Dark of the Moon question and he got it wrong, I would have to delete the episode, burn it, break my hard drive, not upload it, and and he would delete all his accounts. So he got that out of the way. It's all good. Moving on to question number four. You look lonely. I can fix that. What is the name of Ana de Armas's character in Blade Runner twenty forty nine? Joy. Joy is correct. Joy is the right answer. Perfect score so far heading into question five. We're going to get a little bit more difficult here, but you're at 30 points so far. Doing great. What was Casey making to eat in the kitchen while on the phone with Ghostface at the beginning of Scream, the original in 1996? Popcorn. Honestly, I thought that was going to be a tougher one. That might stump you, but popcorn's correct. You're doing incredible. That that When I made that, I was like, this might should be like a 15-pointer because I'm a huge fan of the Scream franchise, and I didn't quite remember she was making popcorn. So great pull there. Halfway through, you're perfect. You were nervous for nothing. We're going into question six now. What is the first name of the character who hires Benoit Blanc in Knives Out? So not I the knew, actor, but the actual character. Oh, I knew there would be a Knives Out question for some reason. Um, <laughs> What is the name of the first? So think of who hires Benoit Blanc to investigate the murder, but not the actor, the actual character name. And the first name is all I'm looking for. First name? Ugh. I don't think I remember. I have no clue. I haven't seen this movie in a minute. Uh, we'll just guess. Try and think if you can think of the actor first, and then try and narrow down what their character name was. Um, I don't <laughs> He's know. Expecting just, the picture just, of the cast. Let's just guess Winston. I don't know. Winston's incorrect. It's it's Ransom. It's ironically, Ransom. Ransom. Chris Evans' character, Ransom Drysdale, is the one who hires Benoit Blanc. And of course, we won't spoil the ending, but. Ransom, it's a fitting name. Moving on to question number seven. What is the topic of Peter Parker's paper he is writing for Dr. Connor's class in Spider-Man 2, leading him to interview Dr. Otto Octavius on the subject? Oh my God, they have a whole conversation about this. Oh my Mm -hmm. God. Um, Just looking for the subject matter. So... It can't be. It's not obviously cross species genetics. Um, hmm. What the hell? It's is it? It's, is it about the energy of the sun? Um. Jesus. Uh, I'm gonna guess. Uh, 
What would Peter have been talking? Um, I don't know. Uh, we'll go renewable energy. I don't know. You're in the right realm there, but fusion is the right answer. He's writing his paper on fusion, which is why he goes to Dr. Otto Octavius, who's making the fusion reactor, which ends up turning him into the villain that he becomes. Started off hot with 40 right off the gate. Missed the last two as we are starting to amp up the difficulty a bit, but you are still probably in one of the best positions we've seen so far heading into question eight, which is another 15-pointer, going to be another difficult one. Question number eight. In the social network, what two-word note is passed to Mark Zuckerberg in class at Harvard? Oh, no. See the scene right there? He opens up that note and says two words on it. And by the way, this is courtesy of Sophie Holsinger. She texted me the other day. She's like, someone who has a social network, give them this question. Oh, no. I haven't done this in forever. I'm cooked. Um... I think we're screwed. Yo, chat, I think we're screwed. Um... A two-word note. I'm, I'm letting Sophie down. I'm capitulating. I'm folding under pressure. Yeah, um, Sophie, of course, is not in playoff position. And she wanted to make sure that people that are fighting for playoff position would would join her in the depths below the cut line. She wanted to seek so, revenge so, well, with a tough question. You could have done any other Fincher. I don't, oh, my God. Um, let's, just, let's just guess. F you. I don't know. I don't know. On the right track, but you dick is yeah, the I, correct answer. You dick. Wow. Shout out Sophie for the question suggestion. But you're at 40 points. You still have an opportunity to get up to 110 points. So you can still get in the playoff position here with the two remaining questions. Question number nine, as we know, there are two correct possible answers. It's going to be one question. There's two answers I'm going to be looking for. You're going to get 10 points for each answer you get right. Question number nine is... Other than the Twilight films, what are the two highest grossing films of all time at the box office starring Robert Pattinson? Okay, okay. Let's think about this. Let's think about this. One of them, I'm not going to guess right now, but one of them surely has to be the Batman. Let's like narrow yeah, things just, down. Just, yeah, just, you don't have to lock anything in yet. Just walk us through your thought process as you're going through. Okay. And whenever so, you want to lock one, then let me know. Other than the Twilight films, okay. Let's go through his filmography. I don't know if Tenet made that much because of COVID. But I mean, he's... Good time. I don't think made a lot. High life. Don't think made like crazy amounts. I still think Tenet made like four hundred million. That's a lot of money. All right. First answer. I'm locking in. Like the Batman has to be there, right? Correct. So you got ten points so far, and you if you can get the other one, you get another ten. What else has he been in? Like Cosmopolis. There's just or there's just no way that made crazy money. Um, I feel like it has to. I'm gonna go Tenet. I feel like it has to be Tenet. Tenet is incorrect. You can, might be bummed about this one. Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. So noted Harry oh, Potter no. hater. I didn't process. I was like, wait a minute. I was thinking of like leading man roles like post-Twilight. Mm -hmm. No, but Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Your hatred for Harry Potter as a franchise has come He's back to you in know. question number nine. <laughs> but the Batman is right. The correct answer technically would have been like Twilight Breaking Dawn Part 2, but I don't know. It was like all like the later Twilight ones. So I was like, well, we're just going to neglect those and think of the other two. <laughs> Moving on to question number 10. Guess the cast. One by one cast members of a movie are revealed. There are 50 possible points with 10 less points available per cast member revealed. Just spoiled who the first one is a little bit, but Chris Evans is the first one revealed. All right. So you can guess, and if you get it wrong, there's no penalty. We're just going to move on to the next cast member. Chris Evans movies. You know, you got not another teen movie, but like that's something I've talked about ever. We've got um, Scott Pilgrim could be one. Um, we've got all the Marvel movies, dear God, please don't let it be one of those. Chris Evans uh, might be one of your most logged actors. So there's a lot of ways this could go. Uh, obviously knives out. It could be ghosted. That could be it. Oh my Lord. Uh, my thoughts right now are between like sunshine. Cause I, I really like that one. And then what else has he been in that I'm missing? Oh, Snowpiercer. Oh, my Lord. Let's just, okay. Let's think. What would, what would you do? Like, let's, let's think right now. <laughs> Trying to get inside the mind of me. What would you do here? Because it wouldn't be a more, like, there's just no way. Marvel movie, there's too many. There's no fun in that. Uh, subverting the expectations. You already talked about Knives Out. No, you do Knives Out twice. So I'm guessing between Snowpiercer, Sunshine, and Scott Pilgrim now. It might, even be, it might just be even ghosted for trolls because we had talked about Ana de Armas already. I'm going to go Sunshine, though. 
Sunshine is the correct answer. Another 50 bomb in the trivia 10 is unlocked from the mind of Alex Coleman. An incredible pull. So the next would have been Benedict Wong. So similar to what I did with Sophie, I wanted to go kind of two Marvel mainstays off the bat and see if you, that would trip you up. Then it would be Mark Strong, then Michelle Yeoh, and then Killian Murphy being the final one. Incredibly stacked cast in a movie that simply barely anyone talks about. Sunshine, Alex Garland, incredible film. And a brilliant way to end this episode because that's going to give you 100 total points, which will put you in the playoff position, tied with Doug. So if you guys both end up in that fourth spot, then we're going to have to figure out some sort of playoff here for or wild card or something and some tiebreaker between you two. But right now you're going to be living comfortably above that orange line with Cam, Sophie, and Kevin being the only ones under it. And you and Doug are going to be tied at four. So it was just a whirlwind of an episode. You started undefeated through the first half, went through a three-question dud, and then you got half a question nine, which built you enough momentum to get that huge necessary bomb on the on the 10th question to get you tied if you wouldn't have gotten it there you would decide between like four movies you would have been pushed below the cut line so great work sunshine being the right answer how do you feel about your performance today listen um you know i felt like the cowboys you know we started off hot um we began to capitulate and fumble um but once again when you have that dog in you you have that brady instinct that mentality you know you just can't give up um you pull the rabbit out of the hat again and i just that and that felt great sophie uh, you're on the list now for that one, um, but I, I feel great. Um, I will be having to watch the social network now again. That'll have to happen. Well, thank you so much for participating, Alex. All your all your links are, of course, in the description down below. Go check him out. He's obviously one of the goats of movie TikTok. That's episode not, eight. Yeah. That's episode eight of the Trivia 10. We have two more episodes left this season, and uh, I won't spoil who it is because I haven't recorded it yet, and I don't want to you know, promise someone and then have to back out last minute, but I believe we have our two final guests this season lockdown so we'll see who the top four ends up being and making those playoffs but alex thank you so much for joining and participating a great performance and it's always fun to see another 50 burger on the final question with that we will see you next tuesday bye